to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a get ready with me plus q a so last night i put a question box on my story for everyone to ask me some questions and i did get quite a few in so yeah i'm gonna answer them whilst i'm doing my makeup i'm only going to be doing like um my everyday makeup routine i'm not going to be doing no eye makeup or anything just going to be doing my go-to all the products that i use i will list in the description box down below i have two mirrors that i'm looking at one over there for where to see that i'm in the shot and one down here to where i'm actually going to be doing my makeup and i have my laptop here because i'm recording on my phone so i'll be using my laptop for the questions so yeah let's get straight into the video so to start off with i'm going to put some moisturizer on and we'll start with the first question so the first question is do you prefer matte or gloss and i do prefer gloss these days but I did used to prefer matte. I used to love matte lipstick. But now I'm all about the gloss. So the second question is top three products. So I would say my top three products are concealer, bronzer. Mm, I'll say concealer cream bronzer and then a powder bronzer i love bronzer so the next question is what is your favorite makeup brand my favorite makeup brand i don't have just one i have quite a few so i love be perfect i love too faced i've really been loving the refi products recently and I also love, oh one second, I also love the Beauty Bay products, like the bronzers and the blushes and highlighters. For £6, I'm not sure if they still are £6, but for £6, they are really good. I'd recommend getting some of those. Also, excuse the faces that I make when I do my concealer and foundation, I just, I can't help it. It just happens. <laughs> I also love Morphe, makeup by Mitchell. Doll Beauty. So the next question is, what products do you use on your hair? I have quite curly hair. So the products I use, like for when I wash my hair, I use the Cantu, I don't know if I'm saying that right, I'm sorry if I'm not, but I use the Cantu shampoo and conditioner. I also use the leave-in conditioner. When my hair's still wet, I'll put soft and free curl activator on it and i feel like that helps to you know activate my curls i also use this cantu detangling spray that helps a lot with my day-to-day -day hair just to give a little spray in it but when i have my hair like this like slicked back in a bun i will use the eco gel and got to be hairspray um, I never used to use the Got To Be Hairspray, but then I noticed with the gel, and I was quite surprised as well because I've heard so much good things about Eco, but I noticed they, it wouldn't like stick for the whole day. Like I'd get like mid through halfway through my day, and like lots of bits would like here, like a lot of bits would start kind of like coming out and stuff like my little flyaways, and then I started wearing Got To Be on top, and so much better so much better next question is what is your favorite season and i would say my favorite season is spring even though we get still get a bit of rain in the spring i feel like a lot of the time we get sun but it's still a bit got a bit of a breeze i'm not a fan of when it's like really hot so the next question is, who are your biggest makeup inspirations? So I don't really have like set people all the time. Like I'll go through phases where I'll get loads of inspiration from one person and then inspiration from another person, but I'll still really like those other people. So my biggest inspirations at the minute have been like look wise, who I get a lot of my creative inspiration from would probably be i'm just going to say the first names and then i'll write the actual names down below like the instagram names so holly roach 
I get a lot of inspiration from. It's just so beautiful. Br Brittany. I'm not sure what her second name is, so I'll write her um, Instagram tag down below. Nadine, I think she's stunning. Again, I don't know what her second name is. Samantha Harvey. Oh my god, her. I just. She just. She just gives me so much inspiration. Like she's just so beautiful and like she's so talented as well. Emma Ford, which is one of my good friends, I get so much inspiration from her. Who else? Recently, I've been getting a lot of inspiration from a girl called Brooke. Brooke L, something like that. I've been getting a lot of inspiration from her. So, to be honest though, whenever I do a look that is inspired by someone, I always credit them. So, yeah, I always write. Like, my past like, few posts probably the people that I've been inspired by recently. So the next question is, what advice would you give your younger self? What advice would I give my younger self? To my younger self, I would give... So the advice I would give my younger self would be to be more confident and... Oh, I hate when my hair gets in my eyes. To not care what people have to say or think be you just you should have been more confident girl <laughs> so the next question is what is a makeup trend you hate so <laughs> a makeup trend that i i love it now i love it now but a makeup trend that i hated was soap brows i know shoot me when it first came out i just i could not stand it i feel like people just looked like they just got hit in the face by wind but it's crazy because now it's literally my favorite thing to do <laughs> um because like even when i first tried doing soap brows when they first came out or fluffy brows whatever you want to call them um i i just hadn't i just could not get on with it i had no idea the technique like what to do so I think that's another reason why I didn't like them either because I didn't really understand how to do it. But well, I understood how to do it, but I just never went went right for me. But yeah, now I love the trend and I do it all the time. But in my everyday makeup, I don't actually do it in my everyday makeup. So the next question is favorite place to eat at. So I have a few. I love Bella Italia. I love, there's a new place, well it's not that new but it's new to, new to me, called Golden Phoenix, it's um, all you can eat Chinese, and oh my god, it is beautiful, <laughs> um, and to be honest, I just love going to like pubs and stuff, like, I love a good burger from a pub, I can't lie, I think one of my favourite pubs is The Water's Edge, um Sherman Arms. I love Sherman Arms. Look at my hair. So yeah, they're my favourite pubs. I mean restaurants to eat at. The next question is what made you get into makeup? So I think what made me get into makeup was I've always been quite a creative person. Like whether it was art or photography or just anything and I feel like with makeup you can just do whatever you want with it and just run with it and like just be as creative as you want and just literally do whatever you want and I feel like that's what me and me want to get into makeup just having that power of doing whatever I want with my face and just you know just exploring and doing anything and everything that's what made me get to makeup, just seeing how creative you can get with it. And just, I just loved it. So, well, I love it. <laughs> so next question is, what's the most expensive skin skincare or makeup product you own? So I do own quite a few expensive skincares, but not that I purchased. So for Christmas, I brought myself a Cult Beauty and it looked fantastic advent calendar so i got a lot 
so i got a lot of like expensive stuff from those calendars but i've not actually used them yet so i can't tell you the names <laughs> but i think an expensive makeup product that i have would probably be my <laughs> excuse me would probably be my nars radiant longwear foundation i can't remember exactly how much it is but i feel like that would probably be the most expensive so the next question is what cheaper brands of makeup would you recommend and i would recommend makeup revolution mua cosmetics i love that brand um i'd also recommend beauty bay brand like actual beauty bay's brand because even though beauty bay has so much other expensive things on there as a website i feel like the actual beauty bay brand is quite good and not that expensive like i said earlier the bronzes and the blushes are literally like six pound and they're so good um so yeah that would would probably be the brands so far i've been so rubbish in this video i can't think of anything um, not a question but i think you're so talented oh thank you so the next question is top makeup tip and i would say one of my tips would be is blusher so something i do i don't know i feel like a lot of people do this but it's something i love to do is so a lot of people put their blushes here to make their cheeks look rosier and which is fine it's cute i love it but me personally i like to do it as in the same place i put my bronzer so i like to do it more like this because i feel like it brings your face up more and me personally, I feel like it brings it up more. Whereas when I put it here, I feel like it makes it kind of look more like it's drooping. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but that's just my preference. So yeah, that's my tip. Next question is, are you going away this year? Um, I don't have any plans yet, but, well, official plans, but me and my family want to go to Whitby soon for my stepdad's birthday so that might be in june time so fingers crossed we've been there we went there last year in may and oh my god it was beautiful so proud so the next question is when's your birthday and what is your star sign so my birthday is september the 25th i've noticed i've been looking over there a lot i'm so sorry so my birthday is september the 25th and my star sign is libra and I'm also 22, if you didn't know. The next know. question is, where is your dream holiday? And I would love to go to Bali or the Maldives. But <laughs> the thing is about the Maldives, I would love to go. I think it's so beautiful. But I kind of have a fear of the ocean. And a lot of the pictures that I've seen, obviously they have like those wooden like huts above the water. And that really gives me a lot of anxiety. So I don't know if I'm actually going to go there. Okay, so the next question is, if you could use only one item of makeup for the rest of your life, what would it be? I feel like I've already answered this one. I don't know. I'll answer it anyway. So if I had to use one product for the rest of my life, it would probably be bronzer because I'm quite a pale person. I don't fake tan, I just don't really get along with it, but I would say bronzer. Because I just feel like you can use as much as you want. <laughs> so the next question is, what made you want to start the social media sector? So what made me want to get into social media was, I'm saying it like I'm an influencer. <laughs> no, so what made me want to get into it was because I've always been one of those people where I like taking pictures, I like to post pictures. I've always loved watching YouTube and I've just I've always enjoyed it like I've always loved being a part of social media. I'm quite a shy person if you know me you know if you don't know me I am quite a shy person I'm, I'm quite socially awkward as well when I meet people in person and stuff so I feel like social media is a way for me to actually express myself because I'm not very good with doing it even with makeup as well I feel like makeup is a good way for me to express myself because I'm not very good at doing it verbally so <laughs> that is my answer for that so the next question is i just realized i'm not even doing anything <laughs> if you had 
So the next question is, if you had one special power, what would it be? If I had a special power, it would probably to be, would probably to be to turn invisible. And I said earlier, because I was thinking about it earlier, um, would to be would to be able to read people's minds. But then my mom said, but what if you hear someone talking about you or thinking about you in a rude way? I thought that's true because I'm gonna want to throw hands. So maybe reading minds wouldn't be the best. <laughs> the next question is, what beauty product, what beauty item do you always repurchase? Concealer, always repurchase. Is that brand or just an item? Because if it is, I do repurchase a lot of brands. Don't come for me. But my favourite concealer ever would be the Jeffree Star concealer, the Magic Star one. I just think it's such a good concealer. It's like one of the first concealers that I've brought that I've actually got my shade perfect in. And, <clears throat> and I just think it's a really good concealer. And I think I've probably repurchased that quite a few times. But obviously not a lot of people like Jeffree Star. Um, but a beauty item that I do always repurchase would probably be everything like bronzer, blusher, concealer, foundation. So I don't know if I've got that question right, but yeah. The next question is, do you have a boyfriend? And yes, I do. I have been in a relationship with my boyfriend for five years. And yeah, I'm very happy in my relationship. <laughs> this is my really makeup. No, I didn't put mascara on because I don't wear mascara because I just don't see the point in it because my lashes are, they're not it. But I am getting my lashes on next week. I can't wait. I can't wait. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed me answering these questions and actually talking to you. So yeah, if you enjoyed, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.